Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between fast fixes and fast releases and why understanding the difference is important from a software quality perspective. Let's go. Hey everyone, of late for the past two or three months, I have been doing mostly podcasts and shots. Today I'm going to do a monologue on the important topic of the difference between what a fast fix is and what a fast release is and why it is important to know the difference from a software testing and software quality perspective. There is a lot of discussion recently about fast releases. A section of developers are pushing for faster releases. While it is great to get the fixes and new functionality to our customers as soon as possible, it's detrimental to software quality if the product is not sufficiently tested. So let's talk about what they typically mean by fast releases and the motivation behind it. One of the key motivators behind the urge to do fast releases is MTTR, mean time to recovery. What it means is on an average, how fast a system can recover from a failure. The lower the MTTR, the better, as we will be able to have the customer utilize the system as soon as possible. When a system fails, the organization provides a fix to recover from that failure. This fix needs to be applied as soon as possible so it's a fast fix which is good which is great. Of course we need to take care of the necessary testing before the fix is put in production. Contrast this with the intent for fast releases. Some developers say that not just fast fixes but every release has to be fast. Now that is way out of line because releases happen for all kinds of stuff. New features, big and small, bug fixes that require very detailed analysis and sometimes automation that runs for days to make sure that nothing is broken. How would you always release fast in these cases? I don't think it can be done. I mean you shouldn't. From a healthy product release perspective, it's great to commit and deploy small chunks of functionality that adds value to the customer but these need not be necessarily fast. The phrase fast release gives a false guidance to the developers and the industry at large that every release should be done fast from requirements to production. This is not correct at all. So it's important to know the difference between fast fixes and fast releases. Again, to reiterate, fast fixes are great when they are done with the required tests done, while fast releases will prove to be counterproductive as necessary quality checks and tests might be overlooked for the sake of pleasing the customer with quick releases which have a lot of defects. So that's that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. Please feel free to let me know of your comments in the comment section and I will respond to your comments there. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get to know as and when new videos get released in this channel. Thank you so much for your attention and time and talk to you soon in the next video. Ciao.